Welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program, folks. We are going to make some accumulators because I want to get some of these bad boys, the orbital collectors. Because if we go out and take a look at not the Dyson Sphere, but at the gas giant, the gas giant produces deuterium. And hydrogen. Unfortunately, hydrogen as well. But also deuterium. Which is what we want. So, what I want to do... Uh, is get accumulators that are charged. So we need an, some energy exchangers to do that. Now, the accumulators take 5 seconds to make. They need a lot of material. Six iron plates, six uh, super magnetic rings, and four crystals. So yeah. Silicon crystals, that is. So we are going to... Set up one of these guys. Right here. Let's... Stick it in there. Okay. And then we need production. Uh, let's first tell it what it wants. It wants iron ingots. It wants... Uh, super magnetic rings. And it wants crystal silicon. So that's what we need. Right? Uh, accumulator, the iron ingot, super magnetic ring, crystal silicon. Good. And they take five seconds to make, and I think we actually might want quite a lot of these. I'm not entirely sure, but I think so. So, let's see. Let's pull the things out first. We need six, six, and four. So, uh, so, mecha warp. Nice. We need space warper for that, though, which we don't have yet. Okay. So, those are the items. We can't make warpers, can we? We you can actually make space warp. warpers. When you're out of the planetary gravitational range, you can use the caps lock key to turn on the warp. Each time you turn it on, it will consume a great amount of energy and an additional space warper. If you want to travel freely between the stars, you need to prepare sufficient energy and space warpers. Okay. Thanks for the tip, buddy. So, space warpers are made either from green matrixes or these things graviton lenses which are made from diamonds and strange matter strange matter is made from deuterium so it's good that we're setting up preparation to get deuterium that's a very good thing all right, let's pull these out a bit. And we'll set up one of you right here. Tell you, tell you that you want to make uh, accumulators. And then we'll copy you. Two, three, uh, four, five, six. If we make 12 of these, so five would be one a second. Actually, you know what? What if we did five? 
and five. That would be two a second. I think that's fine. For now, at least. You can always expand on it. No, not power logistics. We need to come out. Don't actually need to build there or there, but that's fine. Uh, and then we need. Actually, you know what? Let's not do this just yet. We have space, right? So we'll do space there. One, two, three, four, five. We will simply do it in one long line for now. Oh man. All right, able to view vein reserves and planetary systems within six light years. Cool. Uh, crap. I hate when the there are these shifts. Let's see. Let's put you up there. See, that sucks. That absolutely sucks. Okay, let's see how this goes. Now, if I stick this in first, it might actually work. Yeah, see? recipe and we need to get some sorters in here it's not too many so I'm not gonna cut this out um, let's start from this end there 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 Plus mining speed. I like that. What? Too far. Damn it. And I can't move closer. <laughs> Alright, you know what? Screw it. I will build you out here instead. Have a little hole there. Crap. I hate those stupid shifts in the grid. When we do the next playthrough, if we do a next playthrough, I should say, uh, we are never ever building north south. We only build east west. Or west east. That's fine too. Okay, uh, that's the inputs. And we just need the outputs. They are a lot easier to do. First of all, because I don't need as many of them. Oh, need a bit of... There. Okay, then we need some power for all you guys. So we'll stick a power pole there, a power pole there, a power pole there, a power pole there. And 
That power pole is not going to be enough. Now it is. Cool. Let's fill you up with some of these and some of these. You're not powered though. So let's power you. And then we'll say remote demand, remote demand, uh, local demand, remote storage, uh, local demand, remote demand. Okay, and I don't think we need that many. 2,000, 2,000. 2,000 is probably good, right? Right, the first materials are coming. So, crystals. Anything else coming? Yep, something coming from over there. What's that? That is iron plate. And we just need the super magnetic rings, which are coming there. Very nice. And there they go. And cumulators are being made. Yep, there's the first ones. Excellent. And we will set up a tower here. That these can go into. And we'll say accumulators. And 10,000 is fine. Right, so this should be to a second that we're making. Doesn't look like to a second, does it? Whoa, power, power, power. Did you see that? Yeah, power is not doing great. We need a lot more of it. And we're gonna need even more. Oh, maybe I should power you up. Veins utilization again. Excellent. I like it. And we'll give you some of these as well. And that is local supply and I think actually remote demand. Now, I think I am gonna, first of all, pay this over. And then we're gonna make some of the energy exchangers and stick down here and I'll just handcraft those for now at least. Take 15 seconds to make, man. All right, well, I can't make any right now because I'm missing particle colliders. I don't have that many processors. Jesus, 40 processors. You know what? I am not gonna handcraft these. I am gonna... Oh man, it's really important that we get this. We'll um, stop researching for a bit once we get this done because that will help. Okay. Now, 
All right, I set those up. Good, good. So we could run them into there, which means that we just need a outbound one or an inbound one, I should say, probably. There. And we need uh, titanium alloy. We need processors, we need particle containers, and what was the last one? Steel? Pretty sure. Yep, steel. Okay. So let's get those things out of here. Um, assemblers. Let's just set up like this. To, uh, actually, energy exchanger. I think I'll set up five machines making them. Which means one more. And that is... On a fault line. Damn it, I hate those damn things. I guess it is a fault line of sorts. Shift in... Shift in a grid. It's right on a shift in grid, and I do not like it. I do not like it. So what we're gonna do instead is build this way. And select the recipe. Paste it in. Now it's 40, 40, 40, and 8. So particle containers need to be on the outside. But other than that, it doesn't really matter. So like that. Like that. And then steel. That particle container. That. And then an output. will be like that. Come on! You really have to be aware about those shifts. Uh, and this is an interplanetary or interstellar, yes. So, uh, local, local storage remote supply is fine. We don't want 10,000 of them. 100 is enough. All right, let's get some sorters in here. You, 
do. matter but it matters okay then we just need some power which we don't have a whole lot of but we can get more uh, this is definitely gonna have to be like this Okay, and then we say local demand, remote storage, local demand, remote storage, local demand, remote storage, and local demand, and remote demand. We don't need that many, uh, let's say a thousand of each, shall we? Actually, let's say 2,000 of these guys and 1,000. Um, of everything else. Uh, we need some more drones. They are research complete, plus 30% logistics drone flight. Speed, nice. You have unlocked the logistics carrier engine level four. It allows the logistics vessel to warp, but they will consume two space warpers back and forth to transport cargo. So okay. needs to make sure there are enough space warpers in the interstellar logistics station at any time. Will do. Uh, okay, 50, fine. And let's say 190, that's okay. Oh, this was right next door. Um, so you need some of those. You also need some power. Okay. I know, I know, power is bad. Power is bad. We are using like 600 megawatts and we are only producing 289. That's because we are making uh, cubes at the moment. All the cubes. Which we won't be keeping on doing. So it's fine. All the yellows are going. Mm -hmm. uh, except the last row. The reds are our bottleneck for sure. We'll fix that eventually. Right. Have you received all your goods? You have. We actually have 20 of them stored up already. So let's grab 10. This, of course, is going to consume some power as well. I think we'll build out this way. So. Oh. Okay. Where is my little, no, not that one, yes, that one, um, no, let's just say, keep 10,000 in there.
Okay, now there's a tectonic shift there. So we don't want to build right there. So let's see these bad boys. You have okay. built a powerful energy exchanger and can use it to quickly fill the accumulator with the surplus electricity in the grid. You can also release the electric energy stored in the full accumulator with the same speed. With a stable logistics guarantee, it can continuously supply the grid with power. Sounds good. We want to charge. Oh, cool. Look at that. That is a cool building. All right, now... Actually, no, we're not going to build it right here, are we? Let's dismantle you. I want to build it where we were building the accumulators, which was where? Power really doesn't look good. Power does not look good. Where were we building the accumulators? Not there. Not there. Certainly not there. Nope. We're back here. Where the heck did I set that up, man? Uh, wasn't it right around? I feel like it was right around our... Um, Thing, but no, that was these guys. Where the heck did I build the accumulators, man? <laughs> uh, I hate not being able to find stuff. Alright, let me find the accumulators and then I'll be back. I found them! They're here. They're here, and we have a thousand and something. Okay. Now, we want them back in here. Uh, local supply. Local storage remote supply. I think we want it to be. Okay. Uh... Power. No, the exchangers are not under power. Transportation. Okay. Fine. So we will. And there's a tonic shift right there. So we'll build down here. Just build five for now and see how this works. Okay, and uh, we want them to charge. And uh, then we want so. Let's see, can we run conveyors straight out of these? I think we can. So, okay. So if we run 
down this way. And then run out here and in there. What's the port occupied by? Oh. What? Oh, it's there. That's why. Alright, well, I think it's... It's gonna be this one. And then we can run out there. Here we can say empty battery or accumulator. Come out and go in there. And you probably need some power, don't you? You have power. So let's build a power pole there. Power pole there, power pole there, and power pole there. Where'd they all go? Are they back in here? I think they are. Oh wait, they're backed up here. Okay. So, in that case, what we want to do is something like this instead, I think. some accumulators when we did that, didn't we? Yeah. So this is a problem that we have, that we are not producing enough energy. But it's only because we are producing our matrixes. And a lot of them. But as soon as that's done, then we do have enough power. Not too far on that. Uh, here we're far off, but that's okay. And here... We are quite far off. And over here we are quite far off. So the question is, do I want to kill everything science right now? Or do we want to stick down a crap ton more solar panels? I think I really don't want to stick down a crap ton much more solar panels because I don't have them in the logistics system. And I don't even think it's going to be enough with another ring of solar panels around the planet. Uh, I don't know. Let me think about it. And in the next one, you'll find out what I decided. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.